It's Heritage Month and South Africans have been putting their best foot forward in their traditional attire. Roving presenter Brett Rogers hit the streets with dapper philanthropist Matthew Mensah in search of our nation's heritage style. South Africa's diversity isn't just limited to indigenous peoples, and Joburg is a melting pot of ethnicities and cultures from across the continent, adding to its rich colour. Mabondeng is one of the most vibrant and exciting places in Johannesburg. The cool, the creative, the fashionable hangout here. My friend Matthew Mance is one of those people. Come meet him. The country's annual heritage commemoration gives pause to celebrate that we all contribute to the creation of our nation. Coming from a culturally mixed background, Matthew Mensah relishes the opportunity to embrace such diversity. Matthew, nice to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Thanks for meeting us here. What are you doing in this uh, fancy suit, man? You know, um, I like to like, always dress up a bit smart, but today is because I'm going to the photo as well. But also because we're in Mapanen, there's so many different creativity going on here, so I like to just blend in with my own style. So you're of Danish and Ghanaian heritage, yeah. which is quite an interesting combination. Uh, what can you tell me about those two, those two countries and how they work with you? Well, they're quite opposite of each other because Denmark is a country with an extremely high education and, and very high quality of living. And Ghana is a bit the opposite, like, it's obviously like, you know, um, in West Africa. But it's such a happy country as well, um, but it's a very high living. And I feel that being here in South Africa now is a mixture of those two. So it's a beautiful summer's day as always yes, in Johannesburg. Always, yeah. What do you like to do in the weekend, uh, Matthew? You know, I used to do a lot of stuff, much more creative, creative stuff. And now I find myself getting up very early in the, in the weekends, Saturdays, Sundays, and go out like Mapo Link, for example, here, or Bramfontein, or even enjoy some of the past that we have. But there's so much creativity and there's so much inspiration. I mean, me, I couldn't paint to save my life, but I really enjoy seeing people that's very talented and be able to create a lot of beautiful things just with their hands, be it in design or being in the art and so on. So it's very beautiful to be able to go around and pick up inspiration from people like that and, and people like yourself, you know. Oh, so. thank you, thank you. Yes. See, I've got some stuff. <laughs> um, Matthew, philanthropy is something that you feel strongly about. Please tell me a little bit more about that. Well, for me, orphanage work especially um, and stop child trafficking is something that's very important to me. Um, and I've been working with children for the last 10, 12 years, starting with peace campaigns in Liberia and Sierra Leone. And something that I'm very passionate about here in South Africa is the Stop Child Trafficking um, movement and campaign that is also together with the Honorable Minister Kigaba and uh, his department. And it's really, really strong for me because I've worked with the girls that's been rescued and I see the, the trauma they've gone through and also to, 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 to feel like, you know, how they're getting better every, every day and also um, and working with orphans in general. So for me, it's also about being African, that you support the country that we live in. Because for me, even though I'm African, I'm a foreign person here. So for you to show us well how, how much you appreciate and how much you love being here, you're also supposed to contribute to society. And that's my little part, but also because it's a part of my life. That makes a lot of sense, Matthew. So, heritage, it's not only about what you get, it's about what you leave behind. It's your legacy. But it's still the weekend. So Matthew, what do you want to do now? You know, we're here in Mapuning. It's a beautiful day. There's so many beautiful people around. And the person I like to do is a bit of People's wedding, so. Some fashion. You know it. Let's get it. When it comes to fashion, Matthew is considered one of Johannesburg's most stylish men. And the only thing that outdoes his sense of style is his big heart. He created the international award winning Catwalk the World Fashion for Food, and he's behind the first full collective continental orphanage campaign, continuing his long standing work in helping children in various African countries. His passion for Africa as a whole is a love we can all appreciate and hopefully emulate through support for African businesses, arts, culture, and even fashion. Hi there, I'm Brett from the Weekend Edition and this is Matthew. You no, know, we were walking by before and we saw your beautiful outfit and I was wondering, what does it mean for you and what's the story behind it? Uh, this is Ethiopian tradition dress. It goes with a ceremony, with the coffee ceremony. And plus, today is our Ethiopian New Year. New Year's so, today. Yeah, it's a New Year, so it shows all of the tradition. That's why I wear it. Matthew Mensa is a shining example of how what your past gives you can lay the foundations of a glorious future. Have a great weekend. See you next week.